Uh, welcome to our program, Sumela Mudirolio. Uh, I hope that every student is paying attention at this moment. So I welcome all of you students, parents, and any other person who would wish to learn English language today. Um, so to begin with, as usual, I'm taking my roll call or registration of the people whose work I marked. Um, I would begin with Mutesi Gloria Angel, Iganga Girls Secondary School, Shafiq Twaha, uh, Kirebi SS, Navatanz Aida Nyenga SS, Rania Aisha, Elite High School, Namitala Navititi High School, Wanyana Juliet, Machindi SS, Ankunda Mathia, St. Charles Ranga, Kasasa, uh, Decent, uh, sorry, Ainebaba Zwitini, Navisunsa Girls, Decent Ahereza, Our Lady of Africa, Kafero Arnold, Mumbai SS, Babidi yes, uh, Sulaina, Namungona Salaf, uh, Secondary School, Nabu Kenya Najat, Makere College School, Faith Masi, Bishop Supriano Changire, uh, Najuma Angela, St. Teresa Girls Wanda, Blessing Kevin, Sacred Heart, Oumgisha, some of them don't have schools. Then I have Chitiwa Bridget, Everest SS, uh, I have Ronald, no school. I have Chisache, Sharon Tendo, Nabisunsa, Girls School. Ninsima Pauline, St. Mary's College, Namagunga. Okelo, Elvis, Odicha, Bright Trust, SS Chengera. I have Naranga, Peace, Ebenezer, SS, Nasolo, Beatrice, uh, Uganda Matters uh, High School, Vaga. I have Abe, Abaho, St. Mary's College, Chisubi. I have Namitala, Mariam, Gombe, SS. I have Katu, uh, Katunji, Joffrey, no school. Navasa Andrew Kako SS Masaka, Edith Nabukera, no school, Joram Chakua, no school, I have Cheyne Pos, I didn't get the name properly, Victoria Model School, Luero, I have Katushabe Sheila Busoga College, uh, sorry, Katushabe Sheila God's Way School, Maganjo, <coughs> Eddie Gakasirie, uh, Busoga College, Mwiri, Namaganda Juliet, I have Lubega Kevin, Katika Mwesdee Oblenzi. Um, I have uh, <coughs> Kasirie Elvis, Kingsway High School. I think that one's in Chitende. Lubwama Rogers, Nansa Nansa, St. Joseph Seses. Sorry, Nsubuga Trevor, Seroma Christian High School. Ndagire Re, Macha Dondo SS. Nanyonjo Olivia Maria, my namesake, St. Lucia Hill School. Uh, Namungona, sorry, Namagoma. Akinza Afia. Busana SS, Jairas, Muamba, Chireka High School, Alonso, Alvin, St. Peter's, Naria. I have uh, Ngabire, Sylvia, Creamland, uh, Secondary School. I have Akom, Olachom, Beatrice, Bishop. Uh, I have Kawesi, Brian, St. Stephen, High School, Chotera. I have Kugonza, Jovan Musinguzi, King's College, Budo. This one is a senior two student. I'm really happy that he really attends and does work. Nansu Vuga, Patience, Rugazi, Homestone. Ndugwa, Joseph, uh, Zituruntu, Memorial College, Kibibi. I have uh, Nasonko, Ruth, Kingston High School, Kawempe. Nakato, Jennifer, Sentinel Girls School, Zana. Uh, I have uh, Mwanguzi, Faith, Auma. Uganda Matters High School, Ubaga. Semwanga Henry, Ahimbisiwe Vicent, no school. Buye Alex, St. Mary's, Nsumba. I have Agaba Elson, Innocent. Uh, Hannah Mirembe, Nabisunsa Girls. Liz Kevin, St. Mary's, sorry, St. Mountain, St. Henry's, Mukono. I have uh, Akurut, Vivian, Our Lady of Africa, Mukono. I know Mugisha, Alvin Walter, Mbarak. Have Abe Kivesi Musana Vocation High School, Masereka Michael Bright Academy Secondary School, Kasese, uh, Al Sorela, is it Ronald? I have Natuala Precious Chinawa High School, Namugongo. Then at Haire, Alvin, I think the other one is Mugongo, Chinawa High School. Then I have at Haire, Alvin, Nyakatura SS Ivanda, Trisha Ampaire, Kahunde Marion, St. Joseph's Nagalama, Rebecca Namubiru. I have Nisima Patricia, Uganda Matters, SS Namugongo, Nakawoya Kevin, Ainembaba Zidafin, Chibumbura Girls School, Ibanda. I have Asinje Darwin, and so many others. Please, if I've not read your name this time, do not get annoyed. I'll read it next time. 
So thank you for doing work and sending. Sometimes it's too much. I get overwhelmed. Okay. I want us to do some little bit of revision of what we did last time, and then we can go straight to what we are going to look at today. Today we are going to look at announcements. But before we go to that, I want us to look at uh, what we looked at last time. And we were looking at letter writing. And our question was on uh, <coughs> a letter of resignation. I asked you to resign from the post of games and sports in your school. If you're a prefect of games and sports, resign from that post. And I realized that many of you did me good work. However, uh, what I noticed was, I don't know whether some of us were not following. I told you that our addresses, to begin with, the, addre the, addre uh, the addresser's address is always on the right-hand corner. So um, if you had a school, let's say, if you're writing uh, St. Let's say Henry's. <coughs> Henry's High School. This is how it would be. You put a comma. Then you come here and put a box number. Okay? And then you put a comma. And then if the school is in Kampala, then you would come and indicate it here with the, a full stop. If it is Wachiso, you also indicate it. However, when you're writing your address, I told you that you come back to the same line where you started, where there is S, St. Henry's. So you come here and then you write the date. If it was 12th, you would say 12th. May, eh, maybe 2020. So maybe many of you first issues, many of you students or some of you were, use, you were using capital letters, the uppercase, and we do not allow that when in English language. So I expected you to have maybe capitalized the first letters of the main words in your address and then come up with such an address, which was slanting, okay? The writer's address is always slanting and punctuate it in a very good way like that. Then when you came to the receiver's address, I expected you to follow. Do not slant it. It will be blocked. However, I expect the letters to be written in the lower case, apart from the first letters of the main words. So if maybe I could say, um, uh, maybe head of what? Head of sports department. Department. Hmm. And then you come here, maybe, uh, you can mention the school, St. Henry's. St. Henry's High School. Comma, still, you can bring the box number. Many of you had fears of completing the address, but you have, there's no problem. Complete it to be safe. And then Kampala here. Maybe what I didn't expect you to write again was the, uh, the date. Then you put a full stop. After your full stop here, we're going to salute. And I expected you to begin your salutation from the margin. Some of you put the names. You could say, dear Mr. Mugua. Hmm? Dear Mr. Mugua, uh, Mr. Mugua Ibrahim. Hmm? Dear Mr. Mugua Ibrahim. Yeah, and then you put a comma. If you have used dear Mr. Mugua Ibrahim, at the end, when you're signing off, you're going to use yours sincerely. But if you're going to use dear sir, like we learned last week, that means when you're signing off, it will be yours faithfully. Some of us forgot that. So at this point, I expected you to have come here and then you wrote your reference as re. Remember that the R is capital and then the E is in small letters. Many of you really did this very well. I think you are following so well or your teachers really taught you so well, which is very important. Then you had to... Because many of you were typing, at least I think in your computers you failed to get there yeah, to underline your subject, which was okay. But I hope in your books you have to underline and you know that. So um, my issue was really on the format. So I looked at uh, how many of you came up with the format and you messed up. Because the format, I gave it some good marks. So I did not expect you to miss out on these marks. So if you had written the addresses well like this, as I've written mine, you went straight away and then you punctuated here very well because here you're going to realize that our format, our format would get us some good marks. Our date, if it is well punctuated, good marks. Here we shall have also some good marks. And then when it comes to salutation, we shall get some marks. When we come to the reference, we shall get some good marks. And then at the end, we shall get very good marks. So make sure that your format is clearly written. And when it comes to signing off, if you've written the name of the person you're addressing, 
then make sure you end with yours sincerely. If you have not used the name and you have used dear sir, dear madam, then you will end with yours faithfully. So I thank you so much for responding to that uh, ec uh, exercise that I left. And uh, if you had any issues, I think I've co I corrected you. And then here, maybe you should see what you're supposed to. Uh, I also expect you to have given reasons, well-detailed reasons of why you, should, you think you should resign. Some of you just wrote one line, two. You did not have really enough content to, to justify why you're, res you're resigning. But uh, many of you really tried. I think it's very good. It was your first time to write a letter of resignation, but you really did very, very well. So thank you so much for really responding to that task. Uh, let us continue to something else. Okay. So today, we're going to look at uh, writing announcements. How do we write announcements? I think these announcements are very common in our schools and even in our day-to-day -day life. Uh, many times we, we have to announce something that is lost. It could be a lost a handkerchief, it could be, I don't know how you are now saying a handkerchief. It could be if it is in a school setting, a lost textbook, a lost uh, counter book, lost uh, pen if you're announcing anyway to, next to your colleagues that you sit with, you share a locker with. I, I mean, a lost cup, a lost flask, a lost sweater, a lost uniform, and so many other things, items that we could lose. What about if you lose a loved one? Losing a loved one could be either in terms of death, or somebody disappearing from where you expect this person to be. So uh, under all those circumstances, we shall make announcements. Sometimes we have even to announce some things, some things which are good, announcing good news. You have to inform people that I am getting married. You announce, you, you make an announcement of uh, baptism of a child. You make an announcement of, um, what else could we announce, a, a birthday party? You know, so how do we come up with those announcements? All those announcements, they could be good news, they could be bad news, but they are all announcements. So I want to see what basically is an announcement, or as we speak of an announcement, do people really understand what it is? Okay, so we are saying that an announcement is a public statement, okay? Public statement, which is usually formal and has a specific purpose. So we are saying it is public and has a specific a specific purpose okay so you do not announce for the sake there must be a purpose why are you actually announcing why are you announcing the lost chemistry book because you want it back why are you announcing the loss of your sweater because you need it back uh, why are you announcing um, uh, your engagement because you want people to know and share with you the good news or you share with them the good news so that they, they share joy with you so there is always a purpose for your announcements so there are many reasons why people announce and maybe from these reasons we can find different uh, uh, maybe types of what uh, kinds of announcements so we are saying there are different kinds of announcements but they are all specifically meant for public they are meant for public. In other words, people should know. Do not make an announcement and then you, you, you're like, I don't want some people to know. Now, why are you announcing? After all, the announcement is, is for public consumption. Even if you announced, maybe uh, your announcement was, um, was maybe seen by five people to begin with. Do not surprise if later a hundred people know about it. Because your intention was to go public. Okay, so the five people will go and tell more 10 people, maybe each, and before you know it, those are 50 people. And those 50 people will go and tell the others, before you know it, that is, the mathematicians know better. So you, you, you realize that before you know it, the whole country or the whole village, the whole area will be knowing about what you have announced. If it is a school, you may begin with your class, before you know it, the whole school knows. You may begin with your dormitory before you know it, the whole school knows about. But the main important thing is the purpose. What is your specific purpose? What do you want to achieve from this announcement? Okay? So it would be very important, or we shall consider maybe the announcement successful if you have achieved 
your purpose or rather your intention if you have achieved what you really wanted to to get so uh, i want us to look at briefly some types of announcements as many of you uh, uh, may notice Uh, so here, the announcements will vary. Of course, the types will move from, um, or rather will depend from uh, the nature of the announcement or what you are trying to, 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 what your intention is. So here, we're going to look at about four of them. We shall look at death announcements. Death announcement. Even if I don't talk much about the death announcements, you know that anything to do with death is death. You know? And we have heard so many of these announcements either on radios, TVs, newspapers. Maybe what I've not mentioned is that an announcement can either be verbal or written. Okay? So you can decide to go verbal maybe on radio, sometimes even on TV, sometimes the town criers. These ones are so common in our areas especially where we stay, where you hear, you know, um, uh, the villagers or the people in our areas announcing so many things, that, especially that concern that particular village or that particular area. We call them town criers. Then the radios. Uh, when we were growing up, our parents and the guardians and especially the grandparents used to listen to the radio. Today, I don't know whether people still listen to announcements on radio, but I think they do. You know, like, like somebody sits on the radio to listen to death announcements and maybe by any chance will hear somebody he knows or she knows that has died. Ah, but people, today I think since their phones, I think many people get the news on what? On phones. But we have the death announcement. The, the intention of this is to announce uh, somebody who has died and maybe the information that will go with the preparation of the funeral. Okay, burial, or organization of the funeral and so on. Then we have what we call the uh, announcement of the lost items. Announcement of lost items. This one I've already talked about. It could be, it could be your textbook. It could be your sweater uh, at school. Uh, you know we lose so many things at school. It could be by there your benson and you make a verbal announcement. You know, you left your benzene under the bed and you do not find where you left it. So you make a verbal announcement to the whole dormitory to know that your benzene is lost. But as, of course, you, 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 you ask people, you rather you announce your benzene, you must give the details. How does it look like? What is the color? Huh? Where did you leave it? Where do you expect it to be? Do you think somebody could have picked it? Did, I mean, you give the details of the item that you're trying to, to announce. We also have announcements of lost people. Okay, of lost here, of lost people, or persons. Mm? Yeah. A person can get lost, uh, disappear. Actually, you could be moving with a person. Let, let, let me uh, uh, assume maybe you, there is a cousin who is coming from uh, up country, and they have asked you to go to the bus station to pick that cousin of yours. So as you pick this cousin, maybe it's very cheeky. Yeah? And it's so mesmerized with the town structures and buildings and so on. Before you know it, because of the big crowd in the city, you lose touch. This cousin is taken by maybe a crowd going, let's say, to Namirembe Road. For you, you are heading to the old taxi park. As you reach the taxi park, you realize because you were carrying luggage that this person had come with, the person is nowhere to be seen. Then you have to come back very fast and look for this person and maybe even make an announcement so that he can easily be be found. Um, we also have the good news, I would say. The good news announcements. Okay. The good news announcements. What can we have here? Here we, have, have, we can have uh, marriages. Hmm? Marriages. We shall have engagements. Hmm? Somebody's announcing uh, his engagement. Uh, we shall have baptism. Hmm? Baptism. We shall have bath. Hmm? 
you announce the birth of a given child, and so on. So all those things that make us happy or bring uh, joy to us, uh, we shall call them the good news what? announcements. But uh, basically, all these announcements um, um, are attached, or these kinds are attached to the kind of information or the kind of message that we are to pass on or we are to announce to the public. So you, I could not stick to only these types. You could come up with various types depending on which information or which message that you are about to, to, to deliver. So um, with that, I think let's look at how to write announcement, the format, okay, or the qualities basically uh, of how to write this announcement. How do you write this announcement? If I may ask, how do you come up with an announcement? Um, we're going to see, like I've always told you, that every function uh, writing aspect, we must have a title. So most times the students will ask, but do we need a title for this? Do we need a... You just write it and put it there to be safe. Okay? Maybe apart from uh, uh, aspects that need addresses, for example, a letter. Obviously, when you begin with the addresses, the person will know that you're writing what? The letter. But these other aspects that do not have, please put there the heading. So we shall say, we shall begin with the, the title or the heading. I, I will not stop to tell you the importance of this. It ushers us into what we are writing. The person going to mark you, the person going to read your work, or what I would call your audience, will get to know what you're writing from the heading. If you say the report, if you say a speech, if you say, uh, last time, we, the other time we wrote directions, directions from this place to that, immediately this person gets to know that you understood the question, and so you're responding, you're responding to it as asked. Okay? So the heading is very important. The heading makes it easier for your audience, for your reader, and maybe for your, for your examiner. That, that is our target anyway for all the candidates. So let's see basically what we should have in our title. What should we have in the title of the, of the, of the announcement? We are saying you could put the name of the person. Name of the person, <laughs> all thing announced, whatever you are announcing, we shall need the name of that person, if a person got lost or rather disappeared, so you want to put the name of that person and there may be the name of the thing. If it is a textbook, put the name of the title of the textbook. If it is a sweater, can you put the sweater? Is it a school sweater or it's just a, a simple, uh, rather any other cardigan? Please indicate. That's why I'm saying we need the name. And then we shall uh, uh, put the, the what? The type. You could, you could indicate the type, but we could have that in details. We shall have, um, um, we shall have the date. We shall have the date. And... Uh, because in the name, you, you could put uh, just a, a simple description in the, in the heading. But basically, to begin with, we can have those. The name of the person, the name of uh, the, uh, whatever you are announcing. It could be a textbook, it could be a sweater, it could be a uniform, it could be an animal anyway. It could be a, a bird that you are, you are announcing, uh, rather the item that you are announcing. Sometimes you may need to put the, the name of the person announcing, but I think we shall see this in there when we continue in the details, especially in the introduction. So let us have an example of a heading that we want to look at. We could say...
So simply we could have this uh, title heading, The Announcement of a Lost Chemistry Textbook on 12th May 2020. So we could simply have this as an example of our title. So let us look at the introduction. What must we have in the introduction? Like any other piece, of course we should have an introduction. There is no way you're going to just start writing without uh, introducing, I mean giving us a background of what is happening. So what should we have in the introduction? We are saying that in our introduction we are going to have the name of the announcer. This time we shall expect you to introduce yourself. Okay? Name of the announcer. I mean, who, who, who is this person who lost his or her textbook? Who is this person who lost a sweater? Who is this person who lost a, a uniform? So you begin with, um, maybe I am so and so and so. Hmm? Or you could say, uh, Tevin Kobugabe of, this, of Senior 3B announces the loss of his school cardigan on uh, maybe that got lost from... Uh, uh, the classroom in the locker. I mean, you give the details of uh, of yourself, but at least you talk about your your name. Who is announcing? Then here we shall uh, look at the place where the item got lost. The place where the item got lost. If it, is a, if it is a person, we can also still talk about the place where the person disappeared. If it is a death announcement, we can also still talk about the place where, where, where this person died. It could have been in the hospital. It could have been at home. It could have been and at this very uh, point where we're talking about the place. You could also tell us the cause of the death if it is a, a, a death announcement. Okay? Um, if, for example, you could have, you could say... Uh, if it is a death announcement, you have to indicate the cause. It could have been a disease. It could have been an accident. So you go in details and maybe tell us. Uh, we could have an example of this, shall say. Malapo. Of Katwe, I don't know whether you will see here. Zone B announces the death So when you look at this example, you're looking at Wamala Paul of Katwe, Zone B, announces the death of his father, Muzei, so and so you can put the name. So in your introduction, at least make sure you indicate the name, you indicate the place. Of course, this person should have indicated where this person could have died, uh, and so on, so that the people get to know where did this cardigan get lost from, where did this person um, lose his life from, and so on and so on. Then let us move on to the body. Of course, the introduction is part of the body, but is specifically to continue. I would have to remove this. So let us continue with our announcement. Uh, here we're going to look at the body. Um, these are parts of the announcement that you should not skip. So you have to follow them while you're writing this announcement. Even when the introduction is part of the body, but at least you must be able to introduce. Some of us, sometimes we forget that we must have an introduction in our pieces and then the main body and then the conclusion. Every time we write, at least we should put that in mind, that we should have those parts uh, or parts of, like you have, I've, I, at the beginning I told you that 
if you look at your body, it is also made in such a way that it has different parts. So I imagine without those parts, many of you, if you met one without one part, you would be scared or even worry and fear. So make sure that you do not scare the person looking at your work. Do not scare your audience. Do not scare the person reading your work by skipping one step. Let's say the introduction and it just goes straight to the, to the body. So have this introduction and make sure that this person is introduced to your work and can know or have some details before it begins into, uh, rather reading into the what? The details that you have. So let us look at the details of our, uh, of our, of our announcement. So we shall say, this one basically will give, up, will give, will give us more details. Mm? Details of the announcement. Yes, as much as here you've given us the heading, you've given us the name of the person lost, you've given us the name of the, pers of the thing or item, eh? I could uh, say of the item lost, okay? Can you please, you've given us the date. Yes, we have seen you're on the right track, okay? Now the introduction, you've also gone ahead to give us who is announcing you, the person. Now we're getting more, oh, so it is so and so. You've told us the place where this person is lost or the person where the person could have died, something like that. Can you give us more details? Can you give us more information of what you're really announcing? What exactly are you talking about? Because we could be left in space without understanding exactly what you are talking about. So what are the details that we expect you to give us? So we are saying if it is a human being, hmm? if it is human, rather if it is a human being, when I talk about this, we all know we are human beings. If it is a, either a child who has disappeared, any person, an old person who has disappeared, or somebody who has uh, uh, maybe mental uh, disability, and so, I mean, if it is a human being, can you go ahead and give us some description of this person? That's what we are saying. So you give us some description so that if we identify this person, we can do what? We can really bring him back or bring her back where you want this person to be. So within the descrip uh, description, we expect you to put the name of this person or this, uh, this person anyway for human beings. Then we are going to expect you to put the age. Is this person young? Is it a, a child of three years, five years, seven, ten? Is he a teenager? Is he an old person? Or uh, an adult, or rather, yes, adult or uh, an old, because sometimes the elderly can also lose it and maybe may disappear from home. I mean, give us the age so that when we meet this person, we can really maybe try to bring him back. You can tell us maybe the tribe, if you think it is important. You can tell us, tribe actually may go with the languages this person speaks. Hmm? Language or languages. What is this person fluent in? Does this person speak Uganda very well? Does he speak Rinyoro very well? Does he speak Acholi very well? I mean, what does he speak so that if we met this person, we can tell that, yes, this is a person being uh, announced. Then we can look at uh, maybe the height. Can go into the details of the height, size. Is this person fat? Is big? Is this small and slender? So give proper description so that we can know. And in case we have found this person, basically all this may come up. Uh, you 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 go to the physical what? The physical appearance. Eh? The physical appearance. <laughs> you can tell us, is the head very big? Is it very small? Oh, it is a normal size. Is it tri triangular? Like many, many times, I don't know if there's a triangular uh, head. Or is it oval? Is it, I mean, give us a, 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 a description, a physical description of this person. So that if, in case we come across this person, we can be in position to do what? To tell whether this is the very person you are, you are announcing. What if it is an item? Let's say. An item being announced. What are we going to look out for? Okay? If it is, let's say, a goat, it is a, a cardigan, like we said. If it is a benzene, like we said. Because those are the common things that we normally lose. Could it be a dog, a puppy from home? Um, 
Could it be, I mean, anything, so long as it is not a human being. So here we're going to look at, first of all, you tell us what it is. Eh? You tell us what it is. Hmm? Is it a goat? Then you can tell us maybe the color. Hmm? The color of what you are announcing. You can tell us uh, the size. Sometimes the type. If it is a textbook, you can even go an extra mile of telling us the edition. If, it is, if you've lost your, <coughs> let's say, your, uh, uh, your dictionary, Oxford Learners, you can tell us because it has various editions. Right now, the most current is there, the ninth edition. So if the tenth edition is out, maybe it is the one you've lost, you tell us. If it is the seventh edition, edition sorry, you tell us. So make sure that you tell us that we know. That includes the type and, and so on. Any other details that you may want us to know about if it is so special okay so um in case sometimes we announce the, um, the postponement of uh, of a meeting so if you are announcing the post uh, a meeting being postponed maybe to another day another time give us the reason why that meeting has been postponed to another day another time and you give us the details of all those other things that you you are trying to to announce so at least ensure that we get to know what you are really talking about. Okay? So, um, and, and the same applies to the lost persons. Give us the details of where the burial will take place. How will the people move? What time will it be? Shall we have a requiem mass? So all these will be included in the body. Where will the requiem mass take place? Where, at what time will it be? Okay? Then you tell us from there, how will people move? Because sometimes the requiem mass, might, uh, mass or service may take place in Kampala, yet people have to bury in Masaka. So how do they move? So all that should be, should be necessary. Then let me talk about the conclusion briefly. Uh, in the conclusion, uh, basically, we shall just say, if it is a lost item, a lost person, the conclusion... Uh, in the body, by the way, you may also include that you, about your, uh, whether you informed the police or not. In most cases, you will have informed the police by the time you begin the, your announcement. So inform the people that you have informed the, the police. Then in our conclusion, in our conclusion, so we shall talk about a reward. Hmm? A reward, especially for lost persons and the... And, and items, eh? whoever picks this and brings it back, maybe a big reward awaits him. Eh? So that these people can find zeal in trying to find the item that is lost or even the person. After all, there is something they will get uh, for bringing that person back. And maybe for good news, we could say, maybe marriages, baptism, and so many other occasions, we could say, come one, come all, as you are concluding. Okay. So let us look at our example that we have today. Um, can be put on our screen. Our question says, you are, actually it is a task, it says, you are, sorry, you were asked to take care of your young sibling of five years at home. While your parents went to work, you left the child to play with his friends from the neighborhood as he usually does. On your return to pick the child for lunch, he was not there where you expected him to be. None of the friends knew where he was. You searched in the neighborhood but in vain. You have reported the matter to the police station. Write the announcement of your sibling to the public, which may be read on radios, TVs, town criers, notes boards of your village. So this is our task today. Your sibling has been left to you, or in your care, uh, and your sibling, remember, is just five years, very young. Because you know you normally plays with his friends in the neighborhood, you leave him to play. So, but by the time you go back to find the sibling, he's nowhere to be seen. Uh, now, a question like this, I remember, came uh, in, uh, was it 2013, when function writing had just been in, uh, brought uh, to our English language paper one? And uh, it was in Mok, I think, Wakisha where learners or students, were, candidates were asked, it was a mock paper, were asked to, uh, to, to, to write an announcement or rather announcing the loss of their sibling in a market. 
And many students thought that the sibling was some animal or a goat or... A, and they kept on, you know, describing this sibling. But a sibling is a young child. I mean, I mean is a, uh, your, your brother or sister, a person you're born with in, the, in your family. Okay? So here you must be able to understand the language before you begin approaching the question. Remember, this question is always one. If you mess it up, then you've messed yourself. So let us just go to our announcement that we have written today. And here we are. It can be projected on your screen. Please, if you, you may not read every word, but you can take a screenshot if you have a phone. So we are saying, we said we begin with the title, so there we are. The announcement of the lost child. We have put the name Peter Mark Luima on 4th June 2020. And so we begin. Joseph Chikajo, a resident of Kajansi, Chiti Zone A, Wakiso, announces the disappearance of his young brother, one Peter Mark Luima. He is a five-year dark skin, about 1.5 feet. Uh, speaks Runyoro and English languages fluently. He is a little fleshy. He was wearing a red shirt and a pair of blue jean shorts. Okay. Mark disappeared from the neighborhood of Chiti Zone A while playing with his friends. One of the children he was playing with said that he last saw him talking to a man strange to the village area. He is expected to be in areas of Kajansi and Chitende. In case anyone comes across this boy, described all in a picture, please bring him to Kajansi police station or contact the following numbers. The numbers are there. You can put any telephone numbers of your choice. Uh, a big reward awaits whoever finds him and bring him to his people. And then lastly, Peter Mark come back home. So that is just a statement that is there to remind Peter Mark if he's out there and can read that to come back home. So basically that is our announcement. I think uh, you have seen all the details that we have looked at. We have uh, the title, the heading. We have seen the introduction and the, all the items in the introduction. We have seen what was, what was in the body, and we have seen what is uh, in the conclusion. Now, unlike other aspects, you have realized that an announcement is a little short. Why? People do not want to read much. So don't, don't, don't overwrite when it comes to the announcement, because nobody will read uh, what you are announcing anyway. After all, your intention or your purpose is to find your loved one. Or if it's a death announcement, the purpose is to inform the people who are concerned to ensure that they come. They, uh, they come to your rescue or come and help you during the burial or bury their loved one as well. If it was a death announcement, the conclusion could be, hmm, if it was a death announcement, we could have a conclusion like, may his soul, it could be his or her. Don't say that I kill only the men, but in English we don't say his or her. So you can choose any. May his soul rest in, a, in eternal peace. Mm -hmm. Eternal peace. Or before even that statement, you could come up with the, any other statement that is consoling the, brief, the bereaved family and the, last, the loved ones who have lost. So at least ensure that you console them, and this should be your last statement when it comes to a DC announcement, so that you wish this person to rest in peace. Okay? So at least that is it when it comes to writing announcement. I hope you've learned a lot. And uh, I can leave a question that I'm going to expect us to, uh, to, to write on. A rather task. So this is our task for uh, next week. Rather this week. So we shall say, English textbook Titan Composition B 
bo kufo to the class monitor. Senior 4. Senior 4P. So we are saying you have lost your English English language textbook. You have lost your English language textbook titled Composition Writing Book 4. Write an announcement to the entire school Asking anyone who finds it to bring it to the class monitor, senior 4P. Okay, so that is it. That is what we have for today. Please attempt that task and forward your work for marking. Thank you so much for the lesson, for attending the lesson. And thank you so much for being attentive. Have a good day.